tactics and squad. And with that, the first half is underway. Here's how Bayer Leverkusen line up. Luka Shradetsky is the goalkeeper. Jeremy Frimpong starts with Grimaldo as the fullbacks. And leading the attack is Patrick Schick. Reid Labaku. Bit sloppy in possession. Wimmer. Schick. Nicely weighted crossfield ball. Can he finish? And it's an early lead. A terrific start. Maxence Lacroix. Joachim Mela. Arnold. Promising looking attack this. And the promise of something happening is over. Could be something on. The effort shut out. Maximilian Arnold. Matthias Svanberg. Struggling to keep the ball there. Well, speculative effort. Well, that really was from too far out to test the keeper in any way. Meyer. Wirtz. A good effort to stop the ball going out. And able to come away with the ball. Granite Jacker. Grimaldo. Happy to just keep the ball in their own half. That's nice vision to switch things. Has the space to whip it in here. On he goes. Terrific. Here's the shot. And they've scored! Second best no longer. It's level again. Jacker. Svanberg. Oh, he's lost it. Pulls it back. Meyer to put them ahead. And there is proof that pure force isn't always the answer. It needed a more subtle touch. Schick. Schick. Oh, top quality goalkeeping to deny what looked a likely goal. Patrick Wimmer. Perfectly anticipated, really well won. Making good progress here. Delivered towards the far post. It's in! That gives them the lead, and well deserved, you have to say. Starts. Matthias Svanberg. Wimmer. 
Arnold. Maya. Well, not the easiest of saves, but you'd expect him to probably stop that. A corner now then, and a good chance to go further ahead. Moving forward under no real pressure. Oh, a great chance. And that's nicely won to see off the threat. Well, you can tell what the fans think of that decision. They're certain that it should have been a penalty. Well, he's asked plenty of questions of the back line. It's certainly been difficult to contain. Yeah, he's had a good first half, and that's been topped off with a goal so late on. The desire to keep playing to the whistle will have certainly pleased the coaching staff, I'm sure. Lucas Nemecha. There's a sense of real urgency to this attack. And the ball has been nicely cut out. Schick. And that's where it ends, with possession lost. There's a chance for them to go now. Oh, and he's left his man behind. With the chance here. Not far away with the final attempt on goal. That was a really quick break, playing forward with pace and the movement off the ball. It was so intelligent, so close to finishing it off as well. Good work to recover possession. Arnold. Nemecha. He's in here. Back up the post. He might have got in there, well cut out. Well, that wasn't far away, and a two-goal lead would have certainly changed the game and the approach. But as it is, though, it could still go either way. They could level it here. And the goalkeeper does what he's there to do. Corner well, kick played in. Got his head to it, but couldn't find the target. Nice bit of defending there to put it out for a throw. Matthias Svanberg. Lucas Nemecha. A little careless there as the ball changes hands. Not long to go, but there could be something happening for them now. Great chance here. Vital tackle, and he's come away with it. Drifting into a useful position here. And the hard work pays off. They won the ball. Grimaldo. Yannick Gerhardt. It looks the right ball. This has to be. And there it is. They lead by two now. And they can breathe that little bit more easily. Chance to get in behind with that. Granite Jacker. Oh, they've lost it. The attack is over. There is the final whistle. Plenty of positives for. It was fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Thought they controlled the middle of the park for the most.
players and fans alike have been... And so the battle commences. And the lineup for the home side. Well, on paper, it looks a rigid 4-4-2, but watch out for the rotation of the wide players and the forward runs from the central midfield players. They could be a handful today. And a look at the starting 11 for Wolfsburg. Well, the 4-4-2 system relies on good combinations all over the pit. The front two, the central midfield pairing, the fullback and winger, and of course the centre backs. If you can get these combinations right, you'll have a good team. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Well, it's a long way off target, you've got to say. Baku. Svanberg, Lovro Maia, and he read it well defensively. Well, Mario Götze is a player who can step forward and grab the headlines. He's done that throughout his career. Stuart, what should we look forward to seeing from him today? Well, for me, Derek, his greatest attribute is his ability to combine with teammates, particularly in tight areas, in and around the box, clever little one-twos, little passes around the corner. He's the player that could be key to breaking down this defence. Well, no let-up, plenty of pressure. And credit due, a good intervention. Lovro Maia. Maximilian Arnold has it. And Frankfurt come away with it. Skiri. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Can they forge ahead? They do. And you've got to say the good value for the lead. Good, sir. Mario Gutze. Textbook defending inside the box. Arnold. Well read to win possession back. Well, this looks really productive. What can they do from this position? And possession lost by Frankfurt. Czerny. Difficult to stop him. The cross is on. No high quality defending. So getting close to the half-time interval and it's going with home advantage, albeit not by a lot. Stuart, what have you made of what you've seen so far? Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack and they've controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. Well, offside here. Such a pity for them. Chance was on. Mecha. Now with Arnold. Well, unable to hold his run, and that's offside. Dina Ebambe. Mario Götze. He could pick out a teammate. Will it happen this time? Very Away they go again. Second half is underway here. A chance maybe from the wide position. Good, sir. Ready to fire. 
And the referee has given the corner. So maybe scope here for them to add to their lead. Oh, tremendous reflex action there from the keeper. Well, he didn't have long to react, did he? But that's a top-class save, I have to say. Short corner favoured. They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Baku. Patrick Wimmer. And moving the ball forward with genuine purpose here. Can they get one back? And a very good challenge. Ansgar Knauf. Good work from Wolfsburg to win the ball back. Is it going to be? Terrific save. A very good tackle. Lovro Maia. There's still danger here. But hang on, the flag is up. And the keeper can breathe a big sigh of relief. Mario Goodson. And the goalkeeper expertly anticipated that through ball. Wimmer. Well, time just challenged magnificently. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Can he make it count? And a goal! That's his brace. They just can't keep him quiet. Wimmer. Kalajic. That's not a bad ball. And up for grabs off the keeper. He's having quite the game for himself. Save after save after save. Brilliant piece of skill. Arnold. Just 15 minutes remaining. Wolfsburg sloppy in possession here. Well, breaking at pace is always a possibility. Well, it was a good counter-attack in the making, but very alert defending. Lovely ball over the top. Foiling his opponent completely. Substitution time it is here. Now, how about the short corner? Arnold, that's a nice-looking ball. But he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Good high press. And he stopped them in their tracks. Kalajic. Well, a shot from miles out. Well, just fractionally wide. Good strike. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Wimmer. Jonas Wint. Arnold. And since they have the ball, the referee playing advantage here. Everyone wants to see officials let the play flow in that manner. But now the free kick has to be awarded. Oh, really good header. Really fine goalkeeping. And that is going to be that. Well, a tale of woe in terms of the... That just wasn't good enough today. A lack of a game plan, too many players below par, and not enough energy.
anticipation. And hello from the Red Bull Arena in Leipzig, just across the Elster Basin from the plush Kotteweg training facility. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And we have live action from the Bundesliga coming right up. It's RB Leipzig, and they take on Eintracht Frankfurt. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Well, that's good defending. Well organised at the back. Well, the referee wasn't going to let that go. And let's have a look at the starting 11 for Leipzig. Well, it's a 4-3-3, but one that will see the front players play close together. So it's vital that they combine as much as possible, particularly in the top third of the pitch. And the starting 11 for Eintracht Frankfurt. Well, they're playing with four at the back and three in midfield, but it's the front three that really do stand Well, they up. could finish here, Stuart. And it was there for them to take the lead so early on here. Well, they've certainly started brightly, and that should have been the opening goal, no doubt about that. Danny Olmo. Simons. On the ball, Schlager. Elmas. Henrichs. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Good move in the making from Leipzig. Can they nudge in front? And a goal! Now they have their opener, and now they can celebrate. Now, Well, good run and good ball control. Good tackle, take it away. <laughs> Sasha Kalajic. <laughs> well, they get themselves level here. Couldn't grab hold of it. And a time for cool heads. Stuffing out the danger. Knauf. Elias Skiri. That'll be an Eintracht throw-in. Ansgar Knauf. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. And the decision is one of offside here. Schlager. And now here's Henrichs. Ikoma Luis Openda. Schlager. Danny Olmo with it. Not a great pass. Aurelio Buta. And nearing the break, Leipzig hold the edge. Stuart, an opportune moment for your assessment, I think. Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half-time. Good, sir. In position. This could level it. And it is the equaliser. Parity now. And who's to say what's going to happen next? Well, the referee indicates that we've reached the half. Into the second half, then. And these two sides are locked together. Just can't really choose between them at the moment. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Klostermann. 
I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, Derek, he plugged away in that first half, making run after run without too much success, but eventually he got his reward, and what an important goal it was. Klosterman. And the flag has gone up here, offside the decision. Simmons still level here but the pressure escalating and it might be and a goal just like that they're back in front good use of advantage by the referee went in strongly decisively this looks more than decent Might be dangerous. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Danny Olmo. Raum. Well, all doing their bit to keep them out. could square the game great work defensively but still the chance could be Mohamed Simakon well, no danger now David Raum well they're quite content to knock it around inside their own half Benjamin Henrichs Simakon Quarter of an hour remaining here. Mario Götze. Can they fashion something? They need a goal. A fine reading of the situation. Well, these fans have been brilliant. Just listen to the noise inside this stadium. Surely this will inspire the players to hang on. What a noise we've got. Really good interception. Oh, what a perfect ball now. How about this? And the ruling is offside here. And so into the final five minutes. From one side of the pitch to the other. It did look on for them, but not to be. Klosterman. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. Mohamed Simakon. And that is the end of the contest, and not a happy outcome as far as the visitors are concerned. Derek, it was a hard-fought contest, which neither side completely dominated, but the result will certainly hurt them. They need to bounce back next time out.
We're at the home of the Schwarz-Gelben, as they're known here in Germany, Borussia Dortmund, and what a venue this is. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, at the microphone, and sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Bundesliga. It is Borussia Dortmund facing RB Leipzig. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual... Can he do it? He knew he had to make the tackle and did. Daniel Malen. Brandt. Here's Fulkrug. Now, that's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? Good through ball. And cleared behind for what is going to be a corner kick. Royce taking this one. Oh, that's not a good clearance. And the move breaks down. Benjamin Henrichs. Well, some players fall in the category of crowd pleasers. I think one such player is Julian Brandt. Stuart, what should we look forward to seeing from him? Well, Derek, we know he can be subtle, he can be clever, but his greatest strength is his power when he's shooting. He's a tremendous... Oh, genuine chance! And what a magical save it was! Short corner taken. Elmas. In a dangerous position. Surely. And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Just cutting off the supply. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Marcel Zabitza. And teammates around him. Marco Reus. Well, the goal here for Dortmund from the corner really would change the complexion of the game. Well, these fans have had to be patient. Could this be the equaliser? Well, that's a super ball over the top. Oh, big opportunity. Couldn't quite hang on. And the keeper has it after that tension-laden sequence. Well, what a great first save that was. How did he stop that? A very effective challenge put in. Simmons. Might be onto something with that ball. And playing it back. They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Top class defending. Marlin. And he thwarted the attack with a masterful tackle. Benjamin Henrichs. Simakon clears it away. Simons. Raum. And just over hit. The referee's whistle. So underway once more, and the first half struggles for Dortmund were there for all to see. Can they make a better fist of it in this half? Could be threatening. Oh, denied by the post. A goal! That's exactly what they needed. That should get them believing again. And the way they
they go again. Borussia Dortmund still trailing, but the belief is back. Simons. David Raum. It's a weighted pass. Real chance. Oh, a stellar piece of defending. And Leipzig in a position of menace. It needs an accurate cross. A glorious chance. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. And over comes the corner. And the deflection means a corner. And the danger still on. And the shot, what a commitment to defending. Textbook closing down, and now they're on the attack. Well, that's one for them to pursue. Well, he had just gone beyond the last defender, Stuart. Well, that's a real shame, because the through ball is really well weighted, but he just took too long to play it. Nice. How about the cross? Plays it back. Oh, a goal! Level now! The lead has evaporated! So underway again, and it's a story of parity. Two goals apiece on this one. Prostermann. And now here's Henrichs. Really showing off his wide range of passing skills. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. It's a good Dortmund move in the making. Could cross it in here. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Danny Olmo and now here's Henrichs Henrichs on the ball Schlager he read the situation defensively and did his job Marco Reus Possession seeded by Dortmund. Ten minutes to go then. Schlager. Nice looking pass. Oh, nice ball over the top. And the search goes on for a winner. Time is tight. Marcel Zabitza. Karim Adeyemi. Here's Fulkrug. Dortmund unable to keep it. Klostermann. And now here's Henrichs. Really good ball there. And with that, the 90...
Hello, a warm welcome to the western part of Germany. We find ourselves in the city of Leverkusen. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Bundesliga. It's Bayer Leverkusen facing Borussia Dortmund. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often... It's got to be! And it goes down as a missed opportunity from there. The lineup for Leverkusen. Lukas Radetzky is the goalkeeper. Jonas Hofmann plays with Granit Xhaka in the centre of the pitch. And it's Patrick Schick up front. Well, the attack looks promising. Can he compose himself? And a goal! 1-0! And what a fast start they've made to this game! Advantage, Borussia Dortmund. And plays with a positional sense that is second to none. Nice weight on the pass. And a struggle to get it away properly. Well, threat averted. Incisive pass. Must score! In it goes! At the second time of asking. And the keeper feels hung out to dry. Piero in Capier. Jeremy Frimpong. How can he take them on and beat them? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Brandt. The ball with Marco Reus. Here's Patrick Schick. Grimaldo. Oh, he's given it away. Ben Sabaini. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. Rami Ben Sabaini. Useful looking position, you've got to say. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Rice. Not showing good patience. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. Grimaldo. Great ball over the top. Grimaldo. Oh, an incredible clearance. I must say, I didn't see that coming. Zule stops it. Good physical play. Marco Reus. Malin with it. And the pass deftly cut out. Karim Adeyemi. Great vision to switch the play. So half. Into the second half then. And these two sides are locked together. Just can't really choose between them at the moment. Good idea. A goal here! Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Schick. Jacker with it. Hoffman. 
decides to shoot. Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long, and this match is level again. Using space on the opposite flank now. Brandt. And green space aplenty for Dortmund to run into. Zavica. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Ben Sabaini. That's a good looking ball. He could pick out a teammate. Marco Reus. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Reus. And a goal kick given. Andri, promising pass. Marco Reus. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Not relying very much on the passing game in a bid to take the lead. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Well, a swift challenge and a throw-in coming up. Wirtz. And a fine tackle. Rami Bensabaini. Bensabaini. Brandt with it. Fine work from Leverkusen to win back possession. Zuller. Strong but fair tackle. And Bayer Leverkusen still on the attack as the minutes tick away. A level contest. Well, for Dortmund, there is quite a lot of running room. Brandt. Brandt. Brandt! Well, it wasn't quite the quality of shot that we were all anticipating. Hoffman. And there's the referee's whistle.
know he can score goals in. And the contest begins. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Well, they're playing with four at the back and three in midfield, but it's the front three that really do stand out. Their combination play is so effective and great to watch in this 4 3 3 shape. Could cross it in here. And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. Czerny on the ball, Mayer. Well, they have it again. What can they do from here? Grimaldo. Dangerous ball. Well, still an issue here. Timely intervention. Well, the fans are going mad here. They think that was a penalty. That's useful play. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Schick. Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? And the flag raised. Offside it is. Nicely timed tackle. Schick. And it might be. And a goal! Arnold Mecha on the ball Mayer Grimaldo and the pass deftly cut out Mecha Frimpong Good high press Hoffman And a good looking ball Textbook defending inside the box Rimpong. and reacting almost instinctively great defending Lucas Mecha Palacios on the ball and he read it superbly Mecha Sheik can he finish this and a goal they're going to take some stopping now two in front here and the attack looks promising but they dealt with the threat first Switch your play now. Viertz. Released it nicely. And there's the feed into the box. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, underway once more. And it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. And teammates around him. Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. 
Well, I have to say, that was a fine save, which just about keeps this game alive. Hoffman, really fine piece of defending play to break us up. Svanberg. Wimmer in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. And this would reduce the deficit. And there it is. Still life left in this game. And they have the momentum now. Well, keeping hold of the ball is what it's all about for them. Edmond Tapsoba. Great vision to switch the play. Grimaldo. Opportunity to deliver the cross. An utterly disappointing cross. Goal kick. And they could face difficulties here. He's got to score. Oh, such an elegant finish. How about that on the volley? A brilliant strike, whatever way you look at it. And he read it well, intercepting it. Decent looking pass. And the shot. Ball is loose. And in it goes. From the goalkeeper's point of view, so disappointing. Hoffman. Grimaldo with it. Difficult to stop him. Angles it back. And the opportunity goes a-begging. He decided to hit that with power rather than going for placement. Baku. Svanberg. And he stopped them in their tracks. Frimpong. Well, there's an example of how to press high up. Ten minutes left for play. Ezequiel Palacios moving it forward and played in. It didn't really work the keeper when all was said and done. We might very well have late excitement here. Five minutes to go and just one goal between them. And the ball back with Wolfsburg now. Frimpong. Really showing off his wide range of passing skills. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. That's a useful cross. And did just enough defensively. And that is going to be that. Well, a take. Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me. And obviously a disappointment.
so many ways. And now they get the ball rolling. And a look at the starting 11 for Wolfsburg. Well, it's not fashionable, but 4-4-2 can still be a good system, both with and without the ball. Key to success today will be the wide players. They need to be the main creators. And options in the centre. Really good challenge. And here's the starting 11 for Frankfurt. Well, for a while, everybody played with a 4-4-2. And it can still be a very good system. But it does rely very... Opportunity! And a goal! Not bad for starters! They take an early lead! And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Dina Ebambe. Puta. Dina Ebambe. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. Chance to play it in. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Lovro Meyer. Good work from Frankfurt to win back possession. Not the best challenge, free kick. Mecha. Just the challenge that was required. Mario Goodson. Buta with it. Nicely cut out. Svanberg. Superbly read and executed. One goal down, but now a corner kick. And defending right on the line. And a goal at the second time of asking, but the keeper has let his team down. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Svanberg, Patrick Wimmer, Lacroix, wasteful from Wolfsburg, Václav Czerny, Czerny, and with that, the attack fizzles out. Really important tackle. Lacroix. Václav Czerny. Well, we can give them high marks for their passing, but can they make this pressure count? And a good-looking ball. Well, that has been deemed offside, Stuart. Well, he took too long to get the pass away. It's as simple as that. Baku. Patrick Wimmer. Now, let's see what they can do here. Svanberg. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And time is up as far as the first half is concerned here at the Fox. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Svanberg. On the ball, Meyer. Mele 
Arnold. Interception to snuff out the danger. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, he stepped forward for his team with the equaliser. It could prove to be the key turning point in this contest, as they haven't been at their best today. You do feel they need to find another gear in the second half, though, if they are to go on and win it. He takes aim. Still possibilities. And they can't quite take advantage in the end. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Arnold. And they have possession again. Skiri. Mecha. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. And playing it through. It might be on for them. Oh, good work by the keeper. Well, they might be piling on the pressure, but they've got to make it count in those situations, that's for sure. Yes, in the mood to exert more pressure. Failure to hold it by Gutze. Well, very effective play in possession. And out of play for a Frankfurt throw-in. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Lukas Mecha. Patrick Wimmer. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Skiri. Now, what can they produce on the flank? And that brings the attack to an end. Angles it back. Well, time's running out, but these fans are driving their team on here. The move looks promising. A goal here surely would finish it. That's a good-looking shot. Well, the keeper did his job. Didn't really have to work hard, in all honesty. Czerny. On the ball, Meyer. Svanberg. Well, it's a good-looking position. Is there a goal in the future? Five minutes to go. Perfect challenge. There will be one minute added on at the end. Well, high marks for that pass. And there's the whistle, all even.
himself in so many ways. And now they get the ball rolling. And the starting 11 for Eintracht Frankfurt. Well, if they're going to play as a 4-4-2, they must make sure they stay compact out of possession and then stretch the pitch when they do have the ball. How they play in transition is going to be key today. This is how the visitors will set up today. Well, it's the basic 4-4-2 formation, but played well, it can be really effective. And key to its success are the wide midfield players. They have to be fit, they need to be able to run with the ball, and they need to double up with their fullbacks. It's a really tough role for them. Simons. Openda. David Raum. And the cross not quite accurate enough. Max. Wasteful from Frankfurt. Attacking possibilities for Leipzig. Might take the lead. And quick thinking defensively. Here's Kutzer now. Not there to intercept. Benjamin Henrichs. Schlager. Dangerous looking through ball. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. again just couldn't seem to maintain possession Klostermann Leipzig moving the ball forward what can they do from here Aurelio Buta. And it took a little nick before it went over the touchline. So a throw in here. And Leipzig with the ball again. And they've played their way into trouble. Can he put them in front? Oh no, he's missed the opportunity. And they remain level. Well, he just lacked composure there, didn't he? They should be ahead now. Max. And Frankfurt sloppy in possession. Can they get themselves in front here? Sasha Kalajic. And the ball back with Leipzig now. Klostermann. And now here's Henrichs. David Raum. Good move in the making from Leipzig. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Well, there it is. That's going to do it. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Klostermann. Simakon. Raum. Klostermann. David Raum. 
Danny Olmo. Oh, managing to beat him. Four marks for trying it. Oh, how on earth has he missed that? What a glorious opportunity. Well, the flag's gone up and he was offside, but he didn't know that when he took his shot. Knauf. Dina Ebambe. Puta. Philip Max here. Max. Passing it around, looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Well, it looks so promising. but a goal kick the outcome and a double substitution it's going to be Klosterman and now here's Henrichs Mohamed Simakon Benjamin Henrichs on the ball Schlager High quality defending. Dina Ebambe. Dina Ebambe. Here's Gutzer now. Well timed tackle. Now, who can he play it to? Danny Olmo. A very timely interception. Dina Ebambe. Ansgar Knauf. And a tidy challenge. Mario Goetze. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. give them the lead wonderful challenge but the chat will he finish the save was a good one now he must favor the cross good sir oh they've done it they forged ahead and it must Simakon. Simakon. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Well, I'm not sure the keeper particularly wanted that, but danger averted for now. Mario Goetze. Here's Skiri. Dina Ebambe. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. David Raum. How about the cross? Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. And there it is, the final whistle, and the fans will be... What a good finish to the game that was. They just wore down the opposition, and in the end, they got their reward. That's a
already and with good call. And so the match is underway. And here's how Leipzig will line up. Well, it's all very narrow, both up front and in midfield. But they have players who are really good. Oh, hang top. on, Stuart, look at this. In it goes. That will do nicely for starters. First goal of the game. Mohamed Simakon. Elmas has it. David Raum. It's with Lukas Klostermann. Benjamin Henrichs. Schlager. Marco Reus. Possession lost by Borussia Dortmund. Leipzig pushing forward with options available. Nice looking move this. And it's a goal. Level again. What a match this is turning out to be. Reus. Brandt with it. Zule. Perfectly positioned to take it away. Individual brilliance. Oh, great vision. Elmas. Could be dangerous. He's in here. Oh, trying the chip, but he got the execution all wrong. Well, if he had the chance again, I think he'd choose another option. Not even close in the end. Simakon. Well read to ease the pressure. Well, using the space really well, but now can they push on? Pretty clear who got the last touch, so it will be a corner. And a goal! A significant deflection, and no wonder the goalkeeper is looking up at the sky in disbelief. Mohamed Simakon. Nice ball to switch the point of attack. Schlager. In possession, Yusuf Paulsen. That's a good ball. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. And this is Royce. Marlin. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Klostermann. And now here's Henrichs. Elmas. Possession one. Well, that one has promise. Krug. Decent position for Dortmund to be in. Beautiful pass. But almost halfway through the match and not quite going to plan for Leipzig in terms of the scoreline. Stuart, what have you made of the first half display? Well, they're certainly not out of this. They've created some good chances and look threatening but they need to be better defensively in the second half. They just can't afford to concede again. As eyes for goal. Can they stop it going in? And the move breaks down. Raum. And so is it. And the ball is moving again. Work to do for Leipzig in this second half. Ball to switch the play. Paulson. Oh, great vision. Spot on with that tackle. 
I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, he's been brilliant. He finished his goals really well. He's shown a great awareness of how to find space, and his movement has caused them all sorts of problems. Surely he'll get his hat-trick in the second half. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Klostermann. Raum. Not showing good vision. Schlager. On to Paulsen. David Raum. The importance of that tackle cannot be overstated. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Well, as you can hear, the fans think that should have been a penalty, but I'm not convinced. Well, no stopping him. That's a lovely ball. Well, not the best clearance. And I think the threat has been averted. Benjamin Henrichs. And successfully cut out. Krug. And the flag does go up. <laughs> Offside. And Leipzig in a position of menace. Elmas. A goal! Real excitement! A back and forth type of game. Now they're level. And stopping the danger. Simmons. In possession, Yusuf Paulsen. And a big moment because the referee has pointed to the spot. Penalty coming up. To give them the lead here. And he swaps it home with confidence. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Guracci. It's with Lukas Klostermann. Benjamin Henrichs. Ten minutes to go. And a good looking ball. Elmas. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. They have to be bold, Borussia Dortmund, in these circumstances. Looking for someone to play it to. And just narrowly wide in the end. That's very effective. Good high pressing. Well, what an atmosphere we've got inside this stadium. These supporters are doing everything they can to get their team over the finish line. Could play it in. But plenty of time and space. Teammates in the middle. Opportunity, maybe. Timely intervention. And the referee brings this contest to a close. It was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals.
Beryl. The tactics. Good evening, everyone. We're at the home of the Schwarz-Gelben, as they're known here in Germany, Borussia Dortmund, and what a venue this is. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry, and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And the focus is on the Bundesliga. Live action coming up. It is Borussia Dortmund facing Bayer Leverkusen. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the... Oh, could be a goal in the early stages. Precisely what they had been planning. Rami Ben Sabaini. Marcel Zabitza. There to win it back. Ben Sabaini. And over the touchline for what will be a Dortmund throw. Phil Krug. Feeding it through. And it goes to square the game. What a contest this is turning out to be. Beards. Amin Adli. Here's Patrick Schick. And winning it back. Phil Krug. Karim Adeyemi. Crossing possibilities. Brandt. Well, just the tackle that was needed. And Patrick Schick now. Can they forge ahead? No. Chance missed. And a big chance at that, Derek. He should have put them in the driving seat there. Rice. Brandt. The ball with Zabitza. Ball back with Leverkusen here. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. Frimpong. Crossed in quickly. And quick thinking defensively. Ben Sabaini. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Well, an attempt to forget all about, unfortunately. Yeah, got it all wrong. Trying to pass it into the corner. Opened up his body, but didn't make the right sort of contact. Clearly took a touch on the way out of play, so a throw in to come. Dortmund unable to hang on to the ball. Wirtz. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Florian Wirtz just dropping off a bit to get on the ball into the advanced position bad place to lose the ball Marcel Zabitza Adeyemi that's a good looking ball oh he saved it well well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. And with that, the sound of the half-time whistle. The second half restart here at the home of Borussia Dortmund. And this is Royce. and he snuffed out any sign of danger just the clearance that was needed Grimaldo 
Amin Adli. Can they trouble the opposition this time? It might be. Oh, that's top-notch goalkeeping, you've got to say. Phil Krug. Well, it was a fine first-half showing by Julian Brandt. Sum it up for us. Well, he certainly got his team back into this game with that goal. Because up to that point, they hadn't played particularly well. I think he's had a decent first half, but he'll be looking to build on his goal in the second 45. Succeeded in keeping it in play. Hoffman. And a chance for the lead. And you've got to credit that magnificent piece of defending. Marco Reus. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Wirtz. Really fine piece of defending play to break it up. Grimaldo. Jonas Hoffmann on the ball. And do they mean business on this occasion? Targets available. Cross comes in. But he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Brandt. 20 minutes to go in this one. Borja Iglesias. The defenders know you can't really allow space like that. Rewarded for that brilliant high press. It needs an accurate cross. The referee spotted the little nick on the way through, so a throw-in coming up. Brandt. The ball with Marco Reus. And given away by Dortmund. Ten minutes to go. And the Schwarz-Gelben have it back now. Bayer Leverkusen continuing on the front foot. Can they break through? This stage of the game it might be decisive and just look at their supporters that's a high quality pass and collected tidily he had plenty to think about Edmond Tapsoba this looks promising and there's the feed into the box and the keeper comes to the rescue. They still have a chance. Well, if... And that will be that. The referee whistle for full. Sometimes it takes a while to eventually get the better of the opposition. And that was the case here. They kept going.
modern folklore. Who's it? At long last, the wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson. And we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It's Brighton and Hove Albion up against West Ham United. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. And a look at the West Ham 11. Alphonse Ariola begins in goal. Lucas Paqueta starts alongside James Ward-Prowse in central midfield. And the striker today is Mikel Antonio. Maxwell Cornet. Oh, the threat is there. And he's gone for power. So close to finding the net. Pervy says to Pignan. Fati. And the timing was perfect. Ball one. Possession lost by the Hammers. James Ward Prowse. Kudus. Promising looking attack from West Ham. Antonio. Oh, that's a really good run. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Who's going to get on the end of it? He failed to get it away properly. No way through. Another corner conceded. What can they do with this one? What a piece of defending we've just witnessed. The high press was on, and that's a fantastic tackle. Kudus. And West Ham in a position of menace. That's a good ball. This could be troublesome. And tidily play. Antonio. War Christ. on the flag real chance it's still alive and stopping the danger well they were close to taking the lead there but Brighton are playing really well at the moment Important intervention. Just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. And the referee's whistle. That will conclude. Into the second half, then. And these two sides are locked together. Just can't really choose between them at the moment. the sign of a well-organized defense and a quick counter-attack could be on oh, good reflexes from the 
keeper and the danger of Ozzie. The teams are locked together. Will it stay that way? Oh, there it is! There's the goal that gives them the lead. Just what they wanted. Lalana. Fati. And a lot to like about this attack. Taking it away. Cornet. And we have thirty minutes to go. challenge to bring that attack to an end Emerson Paqueta it's with Emerson might be able to set up the chance and the decision is one of offside here not made it look routine but read it well Fatty, fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Being egged on by the crowd. Maxwell Cornet. Mohamed Kudus. Encouraging move from West Ham. A fine reading of the situation. And Sufati. And forward they go, chasing the game. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. Maxwell Cornet. Now with Paqueta. Well, there's a really stylish piece of running. Now well, breaking at pace is always a possibility. Now, can they take advantage? Alana. And space to cross it. Very quick thinking there. There will be one minute added on at the end. Alphonse Ariola. Emerson, and it's all over, it is...
and all was and they kick off here and here's the starting 11 for Aston Villa Moussa Diaby plays with Leon Bailey in the wide areas and it's two strikers up front who look to provide the goal scoring threat Douglas Luiz. A look at the opposition starting lineup today. Well, in terms of shape, it's very similar. But can they add a bit of cleverness to their play? They've certainly got the individuals who can beat opponents in the 1v1 battle. That's going to be key. to cut out the pass just lost his focus throw in here Nicolo Zaniolo on to Diaby still alive and a time for cool heads Igor Kaoru Mitoma. Lalana. And the ball back with Villa now. Watkins. Ansu Fati. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. And he stopped them just when they looked menacing. something from here the fans want to see a shot and still looking for space well there was impending danger but good defending Bailey. a very timely interception it around looking for the goal that would put them ahead must take the lead here oh yes first to score in this final and it could be highly significant top class defending that's how to beat your opponent and a chance to level it really good timing stop to make sure the threat came to nothing trailing here but a corner it is and the danger still on. And Sufati. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Musa Diaby. And sloppy in possession from Villa. really high Emiliano Buendia and one minute of stoppage time has been added on and can they be creative from here speculative effort and the referees well as they get the ball running again interesting to see how the second half pans out Take the chance. Well, 
I think that's a poor miss. They really should be level now. Will they come to regret that? Bailey. Ollie Watkins. And back with Bailey. Will it be? Splendid defending. Joao Pedro. And space to attack. But timely defending when it mattered. Good vision. Can he get onto this? Bailey. And quick thinking defensively. Leon Bailey. Zaniolo. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. They have possession again. It looks promising. Bailey. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. Being pressed and pressed high. March. Now Lalana. Adam Webster. Good-looking run. It's with Douglas Luiz. 20 minutes to go in this one. A really good pass. And well to clear it away. Well, you've got to save us such moments. Pedro. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. But he's decided that no advantage was forthcoming, really. And so it's a free kick. Yep. And deep into the penalty area. Not all that convincing defensively. <laughs> oh, good-looking cross. Dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. A tripping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Crossing possibilities. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Adam Webster, Mitoma, who might very well have late excitement here, five minutes to go, and just one goal between them. Brighton doing well to regain possession here. Fati. And now with Moreno. Decent looking pass. Consa. Zaniolo. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. And it's all over. It is a stop.
Yes, the wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson. And we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It's Newcastle United up against Aston Villa. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of the 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. And passing it through. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Over it comes. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Buendia. Well, using the space really well, you've got to say. Just the challenge that was required. But he really is danger personified, but in this game, Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. He wriggles out situations, he can find that penetrative pass, and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of his feet and gets shots away. He could be the outstanding player today. I just don't know, Derek. Just a real lack of composure in the end. They should be ahead now. It's a good-looking ball. Not messing around with that clearance. Comsa. Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. Bailey. Oh, that's a really good run. Zaniolo. Back with Bailey. Could take the lead. Spot on with that tackle. Wonderful chance. Splendid defending. And Newcastle pushing forward with options available. Almiron. Looks as though there might be a threat, but not so in the end. Good defending. And he's certainly not alone. Danger now. Oh, left his man behind here. Bailey. And space to cross it. Diaby. Will it be? Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. The teams are locked together. Will it stay that way following this corner? No trouble at all as far as the keeper was concerned. That's a good pass. Almiron. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Wendia. And Cash with it. Bailey, Watkins, the Magpie is doing well to win it back, and they could really get at the opposition, opportunity, can they put it away, and he did what he had to do defensively, played over, And with that, the first half comes to an end here. So back underway.
and an intriguing second half in prospect. The switch of play now. for that final pass looking for the goal that would put them ahead Joe Linton and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end Diaby Nicolo Zaniolo but I couldn't keep the ball. Harvey Barnes. The back is pushing forward with options available. No way through! Could be a chance to break here. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. And into the last 30 minutes now. in the centre for a crucial intervention inside the box Fabian Scher Trippier now Sven Botman Bruno Guimaraes On to Almiron. Isaac. That's someone to play it to. Joe Linton. Isaac. And inches away. Didn't miss by very much at all. Castle come away with it. Oh, nice ball. Might be able to get in behind the defence. But the danger averted for now. Zaniolo. a sad end to the attack Sven Botman just 10 minutes to go Trippier Botman it's come down to the final five minutes and still, they're deadlocked at nil-nil. Almiron. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Cash. Wendia. And credit due, a good intervention. And the ball in behind the defenders. Well, it comes to nothing in the end. Offside. Well, he doesn't need to make his movement quite so quickly there. Just let the ball be played into the space. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make.
what's your name in folklore? And this confrontation is underway. And here's how it looks for Chelsea. Well, it's great to see them playing with the front two, but for it to work, they need to have a good understanding. They need to link up with each other and provide a different set of skills. And the referee sees that as a foul. Free kick given. And he read it superbly. avenue of attack but the momentum has been halted you wouldn't be surprised to see they can't hand it out corner it is for Chelsea trying to pick out a teammate danger averted Trippier Intercepted it. And a nice ball over the top. And it's played into the centre. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. So Chelsea restart the game. Can they come up with an answer? Sterling. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And it's with Isaac. Chance to play it in. Joao Linton. is offside here James went in strongly to win the ball and tidily play it's a nice looking ball not quite the cross he was hoping for Madueke. Chilwell. This is Thiago Silva. Going to win it back. That's a good looking ball. And teammates to play it to. Now it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Chilwell. Madueke. Here's Chilwell. Out of play for what will be a Chelsea throw. Thiago Silva. Kukureya. Botman. Good ball to switch the play. An alert intervention. Sven Bokman. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. I'm being pressed here. Thiago Silva. And the throw coming up for Newcastle. And the electronic board showing one additional minute.
So underway again. The Magpies with the lead, but this game far from being done and dusted. Promising sequence. Crossing opportunity. Chilwell. to go short for this one it comes to absolutely nothing Fabian Scher Sven Botman Trippier now Guimaraes Newcastle moving the ball forward what can they do from here head over towards the back post the Magpies getting ready for their set-piece routine. And over it comes. And swept out of there. Oh, great attacking play. Very quick thinking there. Will he find the net? Not out of the woods yet. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. It's looking promising. Can he finish this? And well to clear it away. And the referee wasn't going to let that go. Fabian Scher. Trippier now. Joel Linton. Willock. He's an accurate cross. A wonderful intervention. Defensive play to be applauded. My oh, goodness, it looked as though he was. Clean through, and the referee, what will he do here? And they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. A strong hand on the ball, and he's clear his lines. And the upshot of that is offside. Well, he needed to look elsewhere because the flag was always going to go up. Isaac into Almiron 
And on to Barnes. Can he finish them off? He's kept it down. Fully stretched. Somehow reaching it. And so into the final five minutes. No possibilities inside the box. James. And that's Sterling. Pivotal moment defensively. Joel Linton. Bruno Guimaraes. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. And that's great work to make sure it didn't go over the line. And there goes the final whistle. In folklore, who's it? at long last? The wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson, and we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It's West Ham United taking on Chelsea. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of the hundred thousand fans at Wembley. Broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine, and I'm really looking forward to this one. Really vital interception here. He takes A, and he's outdone himself. Wonderful save there. Trying to pick out a teammate. Still not clear. James. Well, not cleared away completely. of the situation at the back Mudrik oh great attacking play took a really smart piece of defending to stop them He's in here. Oh, he couldn't beat the goalkeeper and really should have been able to. Mudrik. Clear to see who got the last touch. So a throw in it'll be.
danger here as he runs at them. Delivering it into the box. Scoring chance, perhaps. Oh, marvellous defending to deny him. Free kick to Chelsea. Maxwell Cornet. And blocked for now. Reese James. Kukureya. Moises Caicedo. And Chelsea looking dangerous. Given away by Chelsea. Says Caicedo. Good ball over the top. And he was being pressed, but did his job. Paqueta. Ball with James Ward press. Good visualization and execution. Oh, magnificent save! Well, he's just pulled off a great save here. What the action from the goalkeeper that was. Well, he didn't miss by all that much with the header. Just a little bit off target. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Fine tackle. Antonio. Attacking possibilities for West Ham. Noni Madueke. Kukureya. And Kunku has it. A fine use of the ball. And delivered into the box. Both time and space. Well, they kept their shape defensively. Job done for now. Maxwell Cornet. Mohamed Kudus. Getting into position to collect it. The ball back with Chelsea now. Thirty minutes to go then. Sterling must take the lead here. Oh, but he's missed it. How on earth is this still level? Well, I just don't know, Derek. Just a real lack of composure in the end. They should be ahead now. Antonio. Showing real patience. Can they forge ahead? Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Fofana. What can Chelsea do from this position? Madueke. it moving dynamically options in the center to jump in front oh and it goes to propel them into the lead just what they wanted good use of advantage there and we saw the situation developing Kukureya, nice looking pass. 
Now he must play with the cross. It's a perfect challenge. Mikhailo Mudri. And West Ham have the ball again. Reese James. That's effective pressure. High up the pitch. So deflection, and it will be a throw-in. Well, they have been getting three substitutes warmed up, and by the look of it, all three are coming on. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. How can they find a late leveller? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Wesley Fofana. Here's Chilwell. Well, that one has promise. This could finish it! Crucial intervention just then, amid impending danger. Well, having been awarded the corner, they'll no doubt look to put the issue beyond all doubt. in folklore who's it and the game begins and the look at the West Ham 11 Alphonse Areola begins in goal James Ward Prowse plays alongside Lucas Paqueta in central midfield and it's an interesting looking attacking constellation with three forwards hang on Derek it's a chance here Fatty. Thomas 
promising looking ball. Good run, this. Now, what can he do with it? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Kaoru Mitoma. Kone has it. Very quick thinking there. Pascal Gross. the situation defensively and did his job promising sequence must take the lead here and there it is they take command in the final and just look at the celebrations here Pascal Gross Joao Pedro on to Gross top class defending what a joy to watch and this will be a West Ham throw in and a tiny ball Sims in the centre Paqueta now with Ward Prowse. Spectacular save. Top class goalkeeping. Trying to deliver it accurately. Couldn't get the header on the target, but robust defending. And Lalana losing out. Pascal Gross. Plenty of support here. A disappointing end to the move. And some danger here. And there it is. A goal. I must say, much to the annoyance of the keeper. Maxwell Cornet. Here's Gross. Brighton did well to win back possession. Good use of advantage by the referee. And he's decided that no advantage was forthcoming, really, and so it's a free kick. Cogney. Magnificent challenge to win it back. are plenty well good looking run it's got to be well couldn't put it away they still lead however well he really should be working the goalkeeper there it's a great chance to score well underway once more and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half Lucas Paqueta. Nicely timed tackle. Cogney. It might be on for them. Pascal Gross. Mitoma. Have a lot to like about this attack. Who can he pick out? 
Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. High pressing and good high pressing. Trying to open them up. This looks interesting. Great opportunity. The crossbar got in the way. And a confident clearance. Well, can West Ham get level here? That should have been the moment. A bit unlucky, really. Ansu Fati. Joao Pedro. So what can they do to stop them running at them? Paqueta. In possession, Bowen. What can the Hammers do from this position? Oh, tremendous save! Well, I have to say, that's a magnificent piece of goalkeeping. That's a great stop. Sending it in. Just under the crossbar with that effort. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Mikoma. 20 minutes to go. Antonio. Did well to win the ball back. Promising looking attack from West Ham and credit is due for that good piece of defending. A lot of space to attack. And options in the centre. Opportunity here. Time for cool heads. Possession lost by Brighton. Ten minutes to go. Well, a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. There might very well be late excitement. Five minutes left, and the margin just one. That leads an accurate cross. Can he finish the ball? Supporters want to see him have a go. They've got themselves back into it. A lifeline in this game. And this could be a dramatic finale. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. And there goes the final whistle.
He's given us away. Diaby. Buendia. They might be able to get in now. Oh, crucial tackle. Brilliant. Diaby. to make up and perhaps this corner can assist them it's a short one Buendia Douglas Luiz more than decent passing sequences but they need a leveller now they have possession in a good area of the pitch oh it was a crucial challenge Pedro. Now Lalana. He has teammates around him. Good weight on that pass. And that brings the attack to an end. Can he put it away? Oh, masterful defending to prevent what looked like a certain goal. Bailey, crossing opportunity, danger averted, and this to level it, and that piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. And deciding to go short with this one. They can counter from here. All hands on deck. But they took care of the situation defensively. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. Oh, he looks threatening. The inside route looks promising. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Well, there's a really stylish piece of running. attacking very much an option and Zufati can he take advantage and a goal! I'll tell you what they're going to be very hard to catch now name on the trophy maybe now options are plenty this is looking fast and Brighton have it back now Tremendous individual skill. Diaby. Douglas Luis. Interception to snuff out the danger. Lalana. Fati. And they need to get tighter here. And the flag does go up offside. Diaby. Not far from the ideal pass. This could be troublesome. Oh, it's come off the keeper. And they survived the attack. Now counter-attacking possibilities. Could be. Let's 
Duncan Rose. Joao Pedro. Lamptey. Mitoma. What a classic example of how to intercept. Into the final 20 minutes. Will they get themselves level here? Oh, body in the way, crucially. So making the substitution now. Elects to go short. Bailey. Jacob Ramsey. Again. Excellent defending. Milner. March. Or well, doesn't have to do it on his own. And defensive play to be applauded. Ten minutes left for play. Intervention just then and made impending danger. Tielemans. Can they fashion something? They need a goal. And after the cross, defensive action called for. March. Really good challenge. Chance to do damage. Up in the mark and keeping it out. Well, they needed a bit of goalkeeping inspiration, and that's what they've got. Well, that just about keeps his team in the chance to finish. And it goes, and surely that's the end of the story. They cannot throw us over. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue. Was won. And so the battle commences. We're 
is how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Moussa Diaby plays with Leon Bailey in the wide areas, and it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal scoring threat. This is what they'll be up against today. Well, a 4 4 2 system relies on good combinations all over the pitch. The front two, the central midfield pairing, the full back. Oh, look at this, Stuart, an opportunity. Ball to switch the point of attack. Trippier has lost possession. Alex Moreno. Good play then for a Villa throw in. Pau Torres. Now with Diaby. A tidy challenge. Good distribution. The Magpies looking creative. Newcastle come away with it. Crossed in quickly. And does have pressure to deal with. This could level it. Oh, a stellar piece of defending. Cash. Wendia. Good looking sequence, this. Well, that's fine defensive play. And support available. Made into the box. Oh, fantastic reflex action. Trippier. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. happen. Aston Villa will get the throw in. Nicolò Zaniolo. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Isaac. Dia, good movement, but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Isaac. Here's Almiron. That's with Isaac. Oh, maybe the equaliser. And the ball is loose. Harvey Barnes. Textbook defending inside the box. Could be trouble, sir, but mistimed his run. Well, he's got the timing all wrong there. He just needs to bide his time. And the free kick awarded by the referee. And fired from the flank into the area. A chance then for the respective managers to... Well, the ball rolling again. Newcastle trailing after the first half. And they come up with a response here in the second. A oh, great play. Throw in then for Newcastle. Trippier. Now with Almiron. Oh, great defending.
Matty Cash. Buendia. Oh, how about that for a tackle? Joel Linton. And on to Barnes. Beautiful pass. Can't argue with that little move. Feeding it through. But it looked as though he might be onto something, but his timing left a bit to be desired. Yeah, that's frustrating, because he's just been too impatient there. He doesn't need to make his movement quite too early. Promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. Cash. Watkins. Here's Bailey. Bailey. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Substitution time it is here. And options in the centre. Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kick the outcome. Showing off his wide range of passing skills. Cash. Oh, surely! Excellent block. High pressing and good high pressing. Bailey. He has teammates around him. Oh, breezing past him. Really good build-up, but no end product. And inside the final 15 minutes. Bailey, is this the moment? Can't miss. And a goal, it was served up on a silver platter for him. Well, back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Buckman. Well read to put an end to that attack. Willock. Here's Almiron. Could cross it in here. We've entered the final five minutes. Exploiting the wide area. And it wasn't a great pass, was it? Almiron. And playing it through. Can he convert? I'm not testing the... And it's up!
Gray joined on the commentary box by Stuart Robson, and we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It's Newcastle United taking on Chelsea. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. Might be onto something with that ball. Sound piece of goalkeeping. This is how the starting lineup looks today. As you can see, they are very narrow in the attacking areas. So they have to be really clever with their combination play. But watch out for the fullbacks. They love to get forward to provide the width. And here's how it looks for Chelsea. Well, key to their success today will be the front three. If they combine well, are clever around the box and rotate their positions, they'll cause all sorts of problems. Who will be the player to decide the outcome to determine the course of events no reason at all why it won't be this man Stuart what do you anticipate seeing from him well, the game plan of the coach is to get the ball into the front players as quickly as possible he is the player to do it he's brilliant with his back to goal they link up the play and he's key to the way they play the game oh they could put it away Stuart oh it was there for him to take the chance Well, brilliant work to keep that one in play. Vital interception, the danger was very real. Might be able to set up the chance, but the flag is raised, and that brings this move to an end. Well, he saw the pass, but he just couldn't get it away quickly enough. Damage done. Trippier. Bachmann. Willock. Here's Isaac. No good vision. Textbook defending inside the box. Mudri. Fernandez. Well he plays with a positional sense that is second to none. And a wonderful diving save to deny the opportunity. And a corner coming up for Chelsea. Can they make good use of it? Nicely cut out. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper, but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. From one side of the pitch to the other. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Almiron. Sterling. And Chelsea moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Superbly read and executed. Fabian Scher. Trippier now. Bachmann. Pope has it. Sven Bachmann. Bruno Guimaraes. That is that. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect.
see about the cross. in a position of menace oh a fine block and the referee says corner kick and short it is and into the centre half-hearted clearance James certainly been applied let's find out if Newcastle are feeling it this could be interesting Guimaraes a poor cross all things considered Kukureya Mudrik well, there's defensive solidity for you. And the Magpies failing to keep the ball. possibilities for Chelsea said and done Thiago Silva Mudrik and intercepts again Sterling it's really opening up positively for Chelsea attack counter attacking very much an option making sure nothing untoward happened so well, far from the ideal pass and it's on
At long last, the wait is over. A warm welcome to Wembley. This is Derek Ray, joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson. And we're approaching kickoff time in what promises to be a spectacular FA Cup final. It is Chelsea up against West Ham United. Well, Derek, as a youngster growing up, this was the day that every young footballer dreamt of. Playing in the FA Cup final, walking out in front of 100,000 fans at Wembley, broadcast around the world, it still brings a tingle to my spine. And I'm really looking forward to this one. He's in behind. Oh, that is a super save. Well, he had to finish that, but credit to the goalkeeper. That's a brilliant stop. To play now. Jared Bowen and West Ham in a position of menace. A very effective challenge put in. Nkunku. Now options are plenty. Well, that effort was always going wide. He's not going to be best pleased with himself. Interception. James. An effective ball. He delivered into the box. And the keeper more than equal to it. And over it comes. Oh, won't it! Using his strength to shield the ball. Kudus. Paqueta. Going to open them up. And drops it through. And that's a very good parry. Corner to West Ham as they look to get back into this game. And pure instinct from the keeper. Well, a top class reaction from a top class goalkeeper. Brilliant stuff. The goalkeeper made it look as though there was no pressure on him whatsoever. James. Mudrik. Room to roam for Chelsea on the wing. Danger averted. Oh, can they hit them on the counter? committed challenge and it's gone out for a throw-in and an astute piece of defending Moises Caicedo Encouraging move from West Ham, but the danger averted for now. Crucial interception amid impending danger. Kukureya. He will get the throw in. Kukureya. Sterling has it. Good pass. Now he must favour the cross. Has eyes for goal. Just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. Now the managers will now deliver their half. So off and running again, and there was a real gulf in class in the first 45. Will we see an improved effort from West Ham in the second?
Fernandez. He'll try his luck here. Well, after that attempt, gobbled up by the keeper. Maxwell Cornet. Aguer. Cornet has it. Jared Bowen. He's going forward well here. Was it the denial? of a clear goal-scoring opportunity. If so, he's off. And they will make the change now. And you've got to say, meat and drink to those in the wall. Cleared away comprehensively. Rather than a free kick, it's advantage Chelsea. Sterling, just dropping into that deeper position. And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. It's an Alvarez. And a bad pass it was. Well, it clearly was deflected, so it will be their throw-in. And a good tackle. Clear to see who got the last touch, so a throw-in it'll be. Thiago Silva. Sterling has it. Chilwell Fernandez. Now Chelsea showing good width and credit is due for that good piece of defending. Paqueta. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Support available. Will it be? And in! Oh, yes! Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. Now Chelsea throw in coming up here. Chilwell. Sterling. Plays it back. Oh, great block. Will he play it in? Real chance. And he scored not once, but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Maxwell Cornet. Well, annoyingly giving it away. to stop him but timely defending when it mattered and just five minutes remaining can he find the right pass Cornet well it's a good reflection that'll be a corner and that brings the attack to an end electronic board showing one additional minute. Reese James. And there it is, the fight!
importance and a stadium. Hello and welcome from the Orange Velodrome. Guy Mowbray with you for commentary alongside Sue Smith. And hopefully we've got some goals and drama on the way. It's France and they face Portugal. Yeah, cheers, Guy. Well, it's so loud in here, isn't it? The fans are really up for this one, and I'm sure the managers will be reminding them, remember what you need to focus on and block out all of that noise. This is the France starting 11. Mike Magnan is in goal. William Saliba plays alongside Jules Koundé in the centre-back positions. Ousmane Dembele plays with Kingsley Coman out wide. And up front, Kylian Mbappe plays alongside Antoine Griezmann. The defence does its work. Some good work to win it there. This is today's Portugal team. Ruben Dias starts alongside Pepe in the centre-back positions. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. And leading the attack is Cristiano Ronaldo. A free kick awarded here. The refs viewed that as a foul. Jules Koundé. On to Mendy. Kingsley Coman. France moving the ball forward with real purpose now. To put them ahead. And ready for it coming his way. And they've got themselves a corner now. And they decide against playing it in. João Cancelo. Palinha. On to João Cancelo. Well read to gain possession. And there's the whistle as the ref gives a free kick. Kingsley Coma. Now Shawmany. Waited beautifully. João Cancelo. Rabio. Can he finish? Good patient build-up, but not quite the end product. France have possession again. And it's on now. Great defending. Ronaldo. Oh, that's been won really smartly. Kingsley Coma. Chouamani. And the hard work pays off. They won the ball. Cristiano Ronaldo. Rafa. The ball taken away from them. Antoine Griezmann. Now Shawmany. He's hit that well. And the keeper more than equal to it. And the ball comes in. Curled right into the goalkeeper's zone, and he's caught it. And with that, the first half comes to an end at the start. Off we go then. Still nil-nil as the second half gets underway. They found a way through. Oh, they were getting interested there, but not anymore. Pepe. Take the lead. It's in. 1-0. And 
and that could change the shape of the game. Bernardo Silva. Palinha. On to Jao Cancelo. And getting into a good position. Promising looking ball. Picked out nicely. Well, it was looking good, but ultimately nothing doing. William Saliba. Antoine Griezmann. Dembele now. Possession lost just at the point of something happening. Kalinja. João Cancelo. And France regaining possession. Rafa Liao. Working hard to win it back there. And superb technique to get past his man. But they won't be going any further. Nicely won. Ronaldo. Rafa. And that's where it ends with possession lost. There's a chance for them to go now. And I'm afraid that's where it ends for them. Rafa Leao. Oh, they looked in there. That's nicely cut out. Aurelian Schuermany. They're allowing space and he's finding it. But able to deal with the danger decisively. Well defended. Griezmann. And the referee sees that. That is a foul, free kick to come. Could be a chance! And it's only just missed. What a magnificent effort that was. Oh, it is, and I didn't expect him to shoot from there, but he's got the belief in his ability to try it, and that was not far off. Excellent reading of the game to win the ball. This is a positive move as they seek that equaliser. And the promise of something happening is over. Counter-attack coming, away they go. Rafa Liao. And that has stopped any potential danger. Got a touch out. Throw in now. Kamavinga. San Maximan. Benzema. What a chance. And there it is. They lead by two now. And they can breathe that little bit more easily. And the final whistle wraps up a match that's gone the way. Fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Thought they controlled.
for you today. And this confrontation is underway. Here's the side France will go with. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Teo Hernandez starts with Ferland Mendy in the fullback positions. Ousmane Dembele plays with Kingsley Coman out wide. And up front, Antoine Griezmann starts alongside Kylian Mbappe. France sloppy in possession here. Dembele and France finding space on the flank Rabiot now with Dembele might it be Mbappe and a goal not wasting much time today they strike first Joshua Kimmich Karim Adeyemi David Raum Nico Schlotterbeck really showing off his wide range of passing skills nicely timed tackle Teo Hernandez Brandt safety now in a more than decent position is it going to be oh he's missed it well he'd be very disappointed with that he should be scoring from there Rabiot Coman well they have the ball once more And the cross is fired in, but absolutely no help in the centre. Griezmann gets himself into the attacking third with the ball at his feet. And mopping up defensively. Leroy Zane. Coman. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Coman. Can he put it away? And a goal to increase their advantage. It's a two goal lead now. very good refereeing to let the play flow it's an excellent looking attack courtesy of Griezmann here and the opportunity goes a begging he decided to hit that with power rather than going for placement Emre Can now with Kimmich well half time coming up and this is not exactly what the home fans came to see Stuart your thoughts on what we've seen well they've struggled in this first half they've been out full outplayed and outrun they need to improve all aspects of their play in the second half if they're to get back in this one. Oh, just missed time, just run, and the flag going up. Referee's whistle, that concludes. The ball rolling again. France having already made a big first half statement here. Will we see more dazzling football from them in this second half? And the timing was perfect. Ball one. 
Can they get in behind them? Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Mbappe. Fine run from Mbappe. Well, disappointing end to the move. the challenge that was required Leon Goretzka Teo Hernandez now well doesn't have to do it on his own Brandt Schlotterbeck. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Coman. This looks more than decent. Rabiel. Nicely cut out. Brandt. Passing it well. Brandt. And still trying to get the shot off. And drawing it back. Excellent defending. Into the final 20 minutes. And France pushing forward with options available. Kylian Mbappe. To sting him with a great save. Leroy Zane, Jamal Musiala. Well, it could be on for him here. A goal! Just what they needed. Still plenty of life in this match. Moving once more, and Germany right back in this contest now. Dembele. Brandt with it. Really good challenge. But it's gone out of play under real duress. Well, still pushing forward. It's a matter of whether or not they can come up with an equaliser. Germany in a position of menace. moment defensively five minutes left and he's in an offside position Dembele now Rabio Griezmann it for them no looking back now surely Danny Drown now just one minute of time added on for stoppages here Mbappe might it be Mbappe and a goal to settle the issue once and for all that will be that Germany will... Derek, that was a worrying display they were completely outplayed in almost
And hello, wherever you happen to be, it's a fine night for football here at Wembley Stadium in London. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry, and alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere really building up nicely, we should be in for a terrific contest. It's England versus Germany. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball for... Opportunity! Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Walker. The England first 11. Nick Pope gets the nod between the posts. Kyle Walker plays alongside Luke Shaw as fullbacks. Jude Bellingham starts alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And in attack, Ollie Watkins starts alongside Marcus Rashford. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Well, they're playing with four at the back and three in midfield, but it's the front three that really do stand out. Their combination play is so effective and great to watch in this 4-3-3 shape. Goretzka. Well, you get the feeling when you watch Harry Kane that he dedicates himself daily to being the best player he can be. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him in this match? Well, Derek, there are a few better players in the air. He's so dangerous when balls come into the box. So expect crossing to be a big part of their game plan today. Promising move from Germany. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. And options in the centre. And nothing comes of this attack. Ficayo Tomori. He's given us away. Walker. Harry Kane. And England pushing forward with options available. But quick thinking defensively. Well, he has the measure of his opponent. Kane. And on to Bellingham. Walker. Rice. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Karim Adeyemi. Moving the ball more than decently, but can they take the lead? Sané. Can he put them in front? Looked like a certain goal, but that's a great challenge. Smalling. Here's Luke Shaw. And he read it well. Germany pushing forward with options available. Tomori. The switch of play now. Here's Luke Shaw. Ficayo Tomori. Walker now. Decent looking pass. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Nice ball to switch the point of attack. Distributing it well. Might go ahead. And a goal it is. The keeper really not part of the equation. And once again, Germany get the ball rolling. How will they react to this setback? Brandt. 
Cohen then for Germany. The ball back with England that. Jude Bellingham. Clear. Power play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Rashford! Well, not quite the tantalizing free kick he was hoping for. Goalkeeper's ball. Rudiger. Emre Can. Declan Rice and given away and into the last 30 minutes now passes like that very much in his repertoire promising move this from England but they took care of the situation defensively Leon Goretzka Jamal Musiala Brandt with it Could be Oh, it's a superb challenge Very timely Good piece of closing down Declan Rice I think the referee was spot on there. A free kick in the end after he had attempted to play advantage. Just 20 minutes remaining now. And space to cross it. And an astute piece of defending. Just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter-attack. And finally up a cul-de-sac. Well, now he's let that run out of play, and it will be a throw-in here. Chance to cross. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. This could level it, and it is the equaliser. Parity now. And who's to say what's going to happen next? Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. Tomori. Good ball to switch the play. Smalling. Here's Luke Shaw. Tomori. Smalling. Ficayo Tomori. Five minutes of the 90 still to go, and the teams cannot be separated. Well, here they are on the attack. Can they go on and win the game? Well, these players must be motivated. The crowd have been great. Can they now get the winner? A really good pass. Pressing high up has its advantages. Well, he had clearly drifted into an offside position. Well, you can see from his reaction, he knew that wouldn't count. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. That's a good ball. And the whistle is sounded, and these two teams are locked together.
Hello to you and welcome to another exciting game brought to you by EA TV. Joining me, Guy Mowbray, for commentary will be Sue Smith and everything is set up nicely to give us a really good match. It's Argentina and they take on England. Thanks, Guy. Well, both managers will be reminding the players that it's important to get off to a quick start, really attack the opposition and put them on the back foot from the off. Hopefully we'll get a good game. This is the Argentina team. Emiliano Martinez is the goalkeeper. Nahuel Molina starts with Marcos Acuna in the fullback positions. And in attack, Lionel Messi starts alongside Julian Alvarez. A terrific tackle. The chance has gone. This is the England team. Nick Pope is the goalkeeper. Kyle Walker plays with Luke Shaw in the fullback positions. Jude Bellingham plays alongside Declan Rice in the centre of midfield. And they're going with a three pronged attack for this game. Now there might be a chance as they keep it moving. Space now to get a crossover. They're just looking now for that final pass through. But it was a build-up with no end product. And the ref has played advantage here. Nahuel Molina. Di Maria now. A good advantage played by the ref. And they've got it back now. Cut back nicely. And that has stopped any potential danger. Molina. Nahuel Molina. A move of real promise developing. Working hard to win it back there. Walker. That's not a bad looking ball. Kane. It's in. Deadlock broken. And just how crucial could that prove to be? Paulo Dybala. Alvarez. In the right position to cut out the pass. Alvarez. And that's been, and there's the whistle. It's a penalty. Up he steps to level things. Well, if there were any nerves, they didn't show. A well-taken penalty. But they're level at 1-1, and off they go. Ikayo Tamori. This is Walker. Chris Smalling. Here's the switch. Nice ball. Showing good width with this attack. Kane. Rice. Acuna. Alexis McAllister. Di Maria now. Rodrigo de Paul. Nicely played. And there's the goal to put them in front. And the game restarts with the score now 2 1. Luke Shaw. Onto Tamori. Smalling. Walker. And that whistle brings the first half to it. And we're off for the second half. A really good interception to take the ball.
Well, of all the players we're watching today, would you agree that he'd certainly get good marks so far? Yeah, what a time to score. It often changes the team talk at half-time when you go in with the lead. We know he's got the ability and focus to do that. The manager will be happy, I'm sure. Now, a chance. Oh, great block. Nice bit of defending to put it behind for a corner. Something different from the corner. Messi played into the penalty area. Good patient build-up, but not quite the end product. Rice. Luke Shaw. Using the space on the opposite flank. And possession given away. Cunha Martinez now Dybala and it's been cut out there's the turnover now it needs a good ball in the approach play looked encouraging but good defending to snuff out any threat Watkins, Shaw, Ollie Watkins, Bellingham, Kane, great defending, Alexis McAllister, Di Maria now, waited beautifully, but a good bit of defending to stop it. Walker. A little more room on the other side now. Really nicely played. What can they do with this now? They've given it away here. And this might be promising. And that hasn't got far. Now a sense that something could happen from this. And he's done really well to keep that out. Not long to go now. Have they done enough here? Just edging it. I think they've just about been the better side. They've taken the chances when they've come, and on the whole, defensively, they've been okay. They just need to keep possession in the closing stages to see out the game. Last touch of the defender. Corner to come. Under a little bit of pressure, he's managed to put it wide. Well, he just can't get away from his marker for a clean header. That's top defending. Angel Correa. Onto De Paul. Perfectly anticipated. Really well won. Now there might be a chance to level things. Oh, crucial tack. Oh, it's a penalty. What a costly decision this could prove to be, with time running out. This for the equaliser, and he does the job from the spot. So level pegging as the game kicks off once more. Martinez. It's all over as the ref...
Stadium, my name's Guy Mowbray. Joined for commentary by Sue Smith. And every reason to believe we're in for an entertaining match here. It's Portugal and they play Argentina. Well, thanks as always, Guy. It's a real pleasure to be here. It's been buzzing ahead of kickoff. Let's hope the football lives up to the atmosphere. This is today's Portugal team. Ruben Dias starts alongside Pepe in the centre-back positions. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. Still a chance off the keeper. And that one goes out and away. Play continues as the ref lets that go. João Cancelo. Rafa. And they went too soon. It's offside. Finds himself with space now. Oh, what a tackle to break up the play. Rafa Liao. Bernardo Silva. Rafa. Chance to go ahead. It's 1-0. The first blow struck very early. Di Maria. Alvarez. On to Messi. This is a positive looking move. And the hard work pays off. They won the ball. Has to be. Oh, excellent work from the keeper to deny a promising looking attack. Di Maria. And it's been cut out. There's the turnover. Lionel Messi. In the right position to cut out the pass. Cristiano Ronaldo. Moving forward well, but that's where any chance of anything developing disappears. Messi. On to DePaul. Di Maria. A little sloppy on the ball there. And the ball is claimed. Secure goalkeeping there. Rafa Liao. Bounds there. Kalinja. Onto Jao Cancelo. Jao Cancelo. Pushing forward with options available now. Good work to regain possession. Looking to put the cross in. Can he finish? And that took a deflection. Corner now. And they take it short. Well, what a place to lose the ball just when the chance was on. Rafa Leao. Alvarez. Di Maria. Ready for it coming his way. Corner kick played in. Unable to find anyone with that. And on that whistle, the first half ends. Off we go. The second half underway. Fernandez able to get a body in the way. Well, he's made his mark on the game, proving particularly hard to play against. 
he's causing problems. Yeah, it was a really solid performance, wasn't it? A lot of what was good about their play went through him, and I'm sure he'll be hoping for a similar impact in the second half. They're still trailing, but maybe an opportunity from this set piece. Messi plays it into the area now, and it's ended up in the safe hands of the goalkeeper. Rafa Leal. Nuno Mendes. Good work to beat the marker. Rodrigo de Paul. Pass was red and the ball has changed hands. Palinha. Ronaldo. Now Cancelo. Being pressed here. Rodrigo de Paul. McAllister. And the attack is over. Really good defending. Rafa. Now there could be something on in a moment. This could be dangerous. Oh, great block. Di Maria. On to Di Maria. Alexis McAllister. Lovely ball. Now what can they do with it? Rodrigo de Port. Options available in the middle. The defence does its work. Rafa Silva. It's gone astray, and it was far too easy. Cristiano Ronaldo. Could get it over now. Rafa. Fernandez. Oh, that's been won really smartly. Could be something happening for them now. Oh, they were getting interested there, but not anymore. Rafa Leao. Real opportunity. Another goal. And one that surely will seal the win. Played through nicely. Well, it looked good, but the defending was even better. Fernandez. That looks like a good advantage played. Rafa! And still the chance might come. And the game comes to an end with the home fan. They deserve to win the game, didn't they? They played some really nice stuff. I thought they...
and a stadium. And now they get the ball rolling. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. And up front, Rafael Leao starts alongside Cristiano Ronaldo. with Rafa and easily intercepted Griezmann Griezmann could cross it in here is this the moment great defending and it took a touch off the defender, so it will be a corner. Elects to go short. Already closing him down here. Coman. Mendy. And he takes it away. Minch. Cristiano Ronaldo. Bernardo Silva. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Griezmann. Radio. Palinha and he read it well intercepting it Coman Aurelien Chouameni Mbappe with it Bruno Fernandes has it. Silva. France come away with it. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Plenty of support here. Rafael Leao. Here's Ronaldo. And the ball back with France now. Considerable momentum, courtesy of Ronaldo. But what can he produce from here? A fine reading of the situation. Coman. Oh, surely! And there is the goal! He's found the net! Joy unconfined! And so the half-time whistle is sounded. And off and running again here. There was a real golf in class in the first 45. Will we see an improved effort from Portugal in the second? Ronaldo. Making sure nothing came of it. 
Oh, superb skill. Clean challenge. Balinha. Cancelo. Now delivering that deep cross. And after the cross, defensive action called for. Fairly easy for the referee to spot that deflection. So now a throw in. Mendy. Mbappe. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Given away again. They might be able to get in now. Thirty minutes to go then. And slipped through beautifully. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Nuno Mange. Rafa. Mendy has it. Coman. Room to roam here for France. But really sticking to the task defensively. Dembele. Everybody loves you and it's thinking about you. 20 minutes to go in this one. Rafa. And a strong tackle. Mbappe. Griezmann! Looked like a certain goal, but that's a great challenge. Yes, man. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Ronaldo. It's with Joao Cancelo. Rafa. Good idea. And with that, they've thwarted the opportunity. Yes, man. Now breaking at pace, potential danger. Long range effort. Well, alas, the finish didn't match the build up. Well, you're absolutely right. Not the finish they were hoping for, but an excellent counter attack. They really do break forward quickly. Given away by Ronaldo. Kylian Mbappe. Leal. France doing well to regain possession. Griezmann. Really getting stuck in. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. And the referee makes it official. Well, this hasn't got... That just wasn't good enough today. A lack of a game plan, too many players below par, and not...
two team. And so the match is underway. Here's the side France will go with. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Teo Hernandez starts with Ferland Mendy in the fullback positions. Kingsley Coman plays with Ousmane Dembele out wide. And in attack today, Kylian Mbappe starts alongside Antoine Griezmann. Oh, breezing past him. Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Well, they're using the same shape, so expect this to be a really tight game, which will be controlled by the team who win more of their individual battles. That's going to be the key today. Can they forge ahead? They do! And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Schlotterbeck. Leroy Zane. Read it superbly to take back possession. Kunde Mbappe Griezmann and a goal another one two in quick succession no wonder they're celebrating Rudiger Raum now with Kimmich Karim Adeyemi And players waiting in the centre. Looking for the right angle. Well, nothing productive, really. France being afforded too much space here. Griezmann. Now the cutback. It's a perfect challenge. Griezmann. Karim Adeyemi. Zane has it. Adeyemi. That's a lovely ball. And no nonsense defensive clearance. And taken away. He won the ball. Kimi. Rabio. Really good build up, but no end product. Joshua Kimmich. Adeyemi. Well, approaching half time. Oh, brief moment here, Derek. Mbappe on to Rabio and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. That's a good pass. Sane can he put it in? There it is, and he could scarcely have had an easier finish. So Germany just one behind now. And who's to say the momentum isn't with them at this stage? Good ball to switch the play. Kunde. And so there it is, the first time. Let's advantage France after the first 45, but plenty of time for a few twists and turns before this one is over.
Dembele. Decent position for Germany to be in. Kimmich. And Germany exploiting the space on the flank. A really good pass. And pulled back. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Mbappe. Joshua Kimmich. Karim Adeyemi. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Can he find the angle? A chance now with the corner. And they're going for the short one. Kimmich. Rudiger. Oh, tremendous goalkeeping. Offside, not that anyone knew. Griezmann. Coman. Well, the defenders know they need to get tighter. Cutting the ball back. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, the action underway once more. And no shortage of entertainment. 3-2. 20 minutes to go. Well, no point in stopping play. Advantage with them. And space to cross it. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Well, as you can see, France have had much less of the ball, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. Germany unable to hang on to the ball. Griezmann. Great vision from Adrian Rabio. They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Karim Adeyemi. Joshua Kimmich. And a good looking pass. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Kylian Mbappe. Coman. Not the best challenge, free kick. Crossed accurately towards the far post. Well, in fact, a good but straightforward claim by the keeper. Really getting stuck in. Coman. Mbappe. Well, that one has promise. Danger still on. Firing it in. That will be that. Germany will have... Absolutely right, Derek. They really struggle to get to grips with the game. They always seem second to the ball. And then just...
forward. And the game begins. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Mark andre Ter Stegen starts in goal. Niklas Zule starts with Antonio Rudiger in central defence. Leroy Zane plays with Julian Brandt in the wide areas. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Oh, that's fine defensive play. The England first 11. Nick Pope gets the nod between the posts. Kyle Walker plays alongside Luke Shaw as fullbacks. Jude Bellingham starts alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. Bukayo Saka starts alongside Marcus Rashford. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Goretzka. Now Harry Kane. Bellingham. Well, he can be such a magnetic player to watch, Leroy Zane. Stuart, what are you expecting from him in this match? Defenders, Derek, hate playing against players with pace, and he's got plenty of pace to run in behind. He does it cleverly. He comes short, then spins in behind, and then he's 1v1 against the goalkeeper, and he usually finishes it off. Distributing it well. That's effective pressure, high up the pitch. Shaw. Rice. Well, a joy to watch. But he's certainly not alone. Werner. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Rüdiger on to Zule. Kimmich. Sané. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? But they dealt with the threat posed. Well, just a bit too much on the pass. And this will be a goalkeeper's ball. Goretzka. Emre Chan has given it away. Bellingham. Really nice ball. And beyond the last defender, offside. Brandt. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Can he make it count? And there it is, 1-0, the Rebels have been rewarded, and look at the celebrations. Walker. This is Chris Smalling. Here's Luke Shaw. Tomori. Rice with it. Walker. Placed into the danger zone. And clears the danger. And that's going to result in a goal kick. Nico Schlotterbeck. Leroy Zane. Schlotterbeck. Well, the outcome is a free kick here. Nico Schlotterbeck. And I must say, a promising avenue of attack favoured by Leroy Zane. And so it's it. And back underway here, with England looking to find a route back into the game. Harry Kane. And with that, the attack fizzles out. 
Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. This could be troublesome. Well, body in the way. Textbook defending inside the box. And the flag was up in good time. It's offside. Well, he should have realised that was going to be offside. That's a poor decision to play that pass. Well, Timo Werner, a player who can light up any game with his natural pace. Stewart, he's a joy to watch. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of it in the second half. Looking for a teammate. Chance to play it in. Well, all doing their bit to keep them out. piece of defending 30 minutes left for play Smalling. Here's Luke Shaw. Kane. Not getting anxious when they have the ball. Well, just couldn't play that decisive ball. Leon Goretzka. Well, the scoreline means they can focus on keeping possession. What to like about that pass? Normally sloppy in possession here. Already closing him down here. Nick Pope. Ficayo Tomori. Now Harry Kane. Jude Bellingham. Walker. This is for Smalling. Now, what can England do from this position? Well, possibilities in the centre. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Sani. Oh, sure. The importance of that tackle cannot be overstated. Well, you can tell what the fans think of that decision. They're certain it should have been a penalty. Ten minutes to go there. Well, still time for them to level it. Could cross it in here. Went in strongly, decisively. Kimmich, good idea. <laughs> Bellingham. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. That's a lovely ball. And all over here, an acceptable outcome. There wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserved the result in the end.
Privilege to be coming to you from the home of football. We're at Wembley Stadium. My name is Derek Ray and my commentary partner as usual is Stuart Robson and without doubt a match with the potential to bring genuine excitement. It's England versus Argentina. Well Derek, when looking forward to this game you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. The England first 11. Nick Pope gets the nod between the posts. Kyle Walker plays alongside Luke Shaw as fullbacks. Declan Rice starts alongside Jude Bellingham in the centre of midfield. Oh, can he finish it here, Derek? In it goes! An early opening statement in this match. And look at the celebrations. Dybala. Good challenge and a throw-in coming up. Declan Rice. Walker just couldn't keep it. Excellent vision from Dybala. Oh, marvellous save. Great goalkeeping. A corner courtesy of Lionel Messi. And it still could be dangerous. Real chance. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. And this might not be the ideal situation for them. Oh, strong and turned onto the woodwork. Making sure nothing came of it. No let up on the pressing front. That's a good ball. Nicely cut out. Di Maria. Oh, stylish ball. What can they do now? And winning it back. Promising move this from England. Here's Luke Shaw. Now, who can he pick out? Is this the moment? A corner to England as they look to press home their advantage. And what a magical save it was! A short corner, let's see. Rashford. And on to Bellingham. This is Chris Smalling. Walker. Can he play it in? Rashford. Now with Walker. Well, passing moves like this will keep confidence levels up. Well, the chat can they convert? They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Di Maria. And a decent save. Full credit. Fired over by Messi. It might still be problematic. Dybala could reduce the deficit. And still danger here. Oh, and he puts away the second chance. But the goalkeeper angry with himself here. Smalling. Here's Luke Shaw. Tomori. Great vision to switch the play. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Declan Rice.
And with that, the first half comes to an end. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. But superb defending. Tomori. Walker now. Spraying passes around, almost waiting for the opposition to make a mistake. Bellingham. Determined defending. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Yeah, he's done okay in that first half. He's had a lot of the ball, he's used it well, and he's been energetic. But unfortunately, that can't be said about the rest of the team, who need to improve if they're going to turn this around. Oh, they could be in here, Stuart. Oh, a goal! They've done it! Quite the comeback, this! Ficayo Tomori. And fed back to the goalkeeper. Walker. And that'll be England's throw-in. Here's Luke Shaw. Kane. And options in the centre. Are they going to forge ahead? And a goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at the celebrations. Di Maria. Well, no card, just a warning and a fair few protestate and confidently converted. So the ball running again at three all. Tomori from one side of the pitch to the other. Ficayo Tomori. Now with Bellingham. Crossing opportunity. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Will Darren Bentley please meet your wife at the ticket office? De Paul. And Bellingham. Oh, lovely ball. Oh, that is a majestic goal! Falling home! Oh, the hopes rise as they win a corner. But he's gone short with it. Lionel Messi. Martinez. On to Di Maria. Well, the attack carried promise, but petered out. Harry Kane. Well, shortly we'll hear the final whistle. The home side with the lead. Stuart, what have you made of this? Well, going forward, they've been excellent. But they've also been too open at the back. They certainly haven't won this yet. Five minutes left. Nick Pope. Walker now. Well, time is against them. They have work to do. Dybala. This could level it. And all square now. And you have to ask the question, is the time for either side to...
The best players are the ones that... And the game begins. The Argentina first team. Paulo Dybala starts with Angel Di Maria on the flanks. And the story in attack is one of a strike partnership. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. And up front, Rafael Leao starts alongside Cristiano Ronaldo. Rafa. Ronaldo! And a goal! Not wasting much time today. They strike first. Well, spot on with that challenge. They might be able to get in now. Bruno Fernandes, Rafa, superb stop. Really clever pressing. And Bernardo Silva has it. Dybala, on to Messi. Rodrigo de Paul. Good work from Portugal to win back possession. Ronaldo. And he's gone into an illegal position, unfortunately. Another perfect position to read it. Good technique displayed. But the danger averted for now. Rafa. It's with Joao Cancelo. Cristiano Ronaldo. Rafa. Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. Not advantage with them. Referee says play on. Di Maria. Alexis McAllister. Well, the attack looks promising. Able to get his body in the way. Given away by Portugal. He has time to play it over. Argentina doing well to regain possession. Portugal being afforded too much space here. And the referee says corner kick. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, sadly, a bit of a tame effort, that one. And far too close to the goalkeeper. Di Maria, nothing doing on the passing front. Dybala. Dybala. Bruno Fernandes has it. And players waiting in the centre. It's still alive. Crucial piece of defending. Corner it is, and an opportunity for Portugal to make it look even better. Rafa. And the whistle is sounded for... So the two teams have switched around, and the second half is underway. And Argentina giving it away. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. 
decent save for credit. Now the pass not finding its target. Well, that save could be the turning point here because they've been second best all over the pitch up to now. That is tackling of the highest order. Well, it was a magical first-half performance from Cristiano Ronaldo. No doubt about that, Stuart. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. Showing patience, looking for the equaliser. Good example of pressing without the ball. And super tackle and they've won possession. Thirty minutes to go then. Sloppy there, Bernardo Silva. Oh, great vision. Bernardo Silva. Opportunity it is. Well, that is high-level goalkeeping. Well, he's just pulled off a great save there. That's goalkeeping of the highest quality, I would say. And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. And the pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. Marcos Acuna. It's with Dybala. And into the last 20 minutes. Did well to win the ball back. Di Maria. What a commitment to defending. And does well to keep it in play. It's a promising move from Portugal. And he takes on the shot. No goal. It won't count. The flag was raised. Well, he did finish it well, but I think everybody knew he was offside there. Nuno Mensch. On the ball, Rafael Leao. Clean challenge. And support available. They know what they need, and that's an equaliser here. But quick thinking defensively. Rafael Leao. And Ronaldo prepared to fire. And a goal! That's his race! They just can't keep him quiet! Dybala. And in the perfect position to read it. Bernardo Silva. It's going to be a throw-in for Portugal here. And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional minute. Joao Cancelo. And the final whistle here. Comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Thought they controlled the middle of the park well.